Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thundermus Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thundermus Fishing Tips. I'm here with Antonio, our boatless angler, and we've got a great day upon us. Let's hope so. Let's hope. We're out here fishing the mouth of the Niagara River. We're going to be running the American Smelt uh, crankbait, and we're going to be trolling for lake trout, brown trout, salmon, whatever decides to bite. I guess we're not picky. I'll take anything. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got Youngstown right there. I'm actually very close to the Canadian, I'm on the Canadian side, but very close to the border. And in front of me, I've got Niagara in the lake. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna troll 90 degrees to the current. You don't wanna troll with the current, for sure not. Against the current would be okay. But 90 degrees, I think, is, is, gonna, is gonna be good for us. So we'll troll up this way, and who knows, maybe we'll troll along the shoreline in Niagara in the lake as well. Okay. All right, all we're gonna do is flatline troll, and we're gonna stay in 20 to 30 feet of water. And I'm uh, going to let out about uh, 100, 120 feet of line and see if we can get into some fish. So glad you can join us. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, oh, my. Unbelievable. What we were trolling, maybe one and a half miles an hour. Because what we did, I mean, the camera hasn't been off 10 minutes. We just went like this, went along the side. He said to Antonio, let's just swing back around and, and go into the current. So we were only traveling one and a half, 1.8 mile an hour, but our lure, my, that American smelt was just working like crazy because we're going against the current. So, and that's the thing, when you're fishing a river system, you definitely want to stay, you don't want to troll with the current. You always want to troll against the current or 90 degrees to the current. This feels like a decent fish. Yeah. Yeah, he gave me a really nice bite. We're in 21 feet of water right now. It's not that deep. In fact, just in front of me here, in front of Niagara in the Lake, it, it, it drops. There's a break like literally right in front of us, but this would have been just before the break. So he's sitting on top of that break. And then he saw that lure come by and he just, just nailed it. <laughs> Is it a lake trout? I, I, I'm guessing lake trout, unless it's a brown, but he feels relatively heavy. Uh-oh, back off on my drag right now. I don't want to lose this fish. Okay. Feels decent. He's taking a little more drag. I don't, I don't want to horse fight. him in. Hey? Pretty good fight. He's giving me a good fight, yeah. So I'm running 15 pound fluorocarbon, so it has a bit of stretch to it, which is nice. So, because when he hit, he hit and he ran, and I had my drag relatively tight. But if you're trolling, geez, he's just peeling. If you're trolling with braided line, then you have to be very, very careful on the hook set because remember, the boat's moving, you got zero stretch, and you're gonna have to be very careful, lean and lean into him a bit, let him take it, and then set the hook. This guy's just peeling, I'm telling wow. you. It's just peeling. peeling. But with fluorocarbon line or mono, you don't have that worry. Once they grab it, let them take it, and then you can lean into them, even though the boat's moving forward, you can still lean into them, like I did. <laughs> Whoa, what the? You lose him? No, he's just going crazy. He's wow. going crazy. I'd like to at least get a look at him. Not you don't really, think it's a salmon, do you? I don't think it's behaving like a laker. Well, unless it's a really nice one. I mean, a salmon would be going crazy, though. True. But it could be a brown trout. I'm just happy to have a fish. Keep him away from the motor. He's got this rod. I'm loaded right up on this rod. It's loaded right up. <laughs> like, I'm, I can't load it up anymore. It's just loaded. Let's get a look at this fish. Gee. I see some dark. I just saw a dark tail. Oh, I think I... You see it? Yeah, the tail looks square. Looks square and dark. It's definitely a trout of some sort. It's Is not it a, a laker. Or a salmon? It's not a laker. It had a square tail. It might be a salmon. Square tail? I'm thinking it's a rainbow. Maybe a rainbow? We'll see. Steelhead. He's peeling. It's definitely, <laughs> definitely something different. Oh, you gotta love fishing the mouth of the Niagara, folks. You just gotta love it. 
This is unbelievable. Oh, oh there maybe he is. it is a salmon. There he is. He's going left, he's going right. Wow, I think it's a salmon. Could be. Holy mackerel. <laughs> this is a battle royale right here. This is a battle royale. Toe to toe. Yeah, lake trout would have been in long ago. Oh, yeah. I saw those nice spots on the top of the back. Okay. So, so I'm, I'm not saying it's a salmon. Yeah, but you are. <laughs> I'm hoping it's a salmon. Okay. Definitely a steelhead or a salmon, I would say. Wow, it's really good. I'm, I'm telling you, it's unbelievable. It is. Look at it is unbelievable. My drag is tight. All look right, at the peel. I'm betting salmon now. It's got to be a salmon because my my drag I'm loaded right up. <laughs> I am just I am literally loaded right up. It's got to be a salmon. Yeah. So the salmon are moving in into the mouth here because the smelts are here. The smelts move in and the salmon and the lake trout and the steelhead, they all move in behind them, right? Feeding on them. Oh, it's a beauty. Wow. That's nice. Just got a glimpse of them. Let's see if it was a salmon or not? No, we're going to be able to manage with this little net. We really do need to get a bigger net, eh? Our viewers tell us that all the time. You need to get a bigger net. I know we need a bigger net, folks. But it's challenging this way. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> if you say so. Well, if we fished for salmon more often, I guess, but we're normally fishing for bass and walleye. It's definitely, I think it's a salmon. It's got to be. He's not done yet. He's not done yet. Oh, I am loaded. He is not done yet. Look at him. Oh, nice that's, fish. that's a beauty. And he's hooked just in the side of the mouth. Oh, I just swallowed a bug. <laughs> Ever happened to you? Yeah. <laughs> Protein. Oh, gorgeous. Look at the coloration on that fish. I actually think that. Is that a big steelhead or is that? I didn't really. Oh, no, it's a salmon. It's a salmon. I didn't get a. Yeah, it's got to be holy. Gee. I don't know how well it's hooked though. It looked like it was Just barely. Just in the side of the mouth. I, I know it's barely big. hooked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't let him thrash on top of the water, that's for sure. Okay, we're gaining. We're gaining, we're gaining. Okay, folks, back home. Do you think we're going to land this fish? Yes or no? What do you think? Yes or no? Here he is. There he goes. Almost. <laughs> he saw the net, he saw the boat, he saw us, and he's not happy. Oh. Hopefully uh, we got a glimpse of him there on camera. He's gonna come back up. He's He's gotta be tiring. He's gotta be tired. I'm tiring. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be tiring. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. There yeah, he is. That's a big fish. Oh no. Nope, nope. No, no. We're going to lose him. He's in the net. We got him. <laughs> and he just came off the lure. Nice fish. That is what you call a king salmon, a Chinook. Good one. That is a beautiful, beautiful Chinook salmon. Thank you, Antonio. High five for landing that fish for me. Look at this fish, folks. We're going to keep them, so I'm going to swap my finger right under the gill cover. The gold American smelt did it for me today. I had a hunch with the gold. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Hey, isn't that a beauty? Look at that fish. Absolutely gorgeous. Gave me a phenomenal, phenomenal fight. I don't know. Can you ask for any better than that? That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That's a really nice. Good fish. bite. Good fight. Nice fish. And he's gonna make a nice meal. That's an all-around winner for me. What can I tell you, folks? If you get an opportunity, get out on the water. If you haven't, if you haven't fished in a while, go out and get yourself a line wet. 
We're gonna snap a photo for our Facebook and Instagram friends. But I want to thank you ever so much for spending time and joining us on today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. Until next time, good luck and good fishing. What a beauty. When I saw the dots on the back, I thought, uh oh, that looks like a salmon to me. What a beauty. You mind snapping a photo? Sure. Thank you. <laughs>